guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's your girl olua kemi at the solar if you're seeing this face for the first time hello please be nice enough to click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to turn it on so you will get a notification every time i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber what's up how are you thank you for coming back Anyway, if you notice, I'm smiling a lot today. Yes, I know you're wondering why. And the reason is because I finally got done with my address verification. I have been battling with this since February and this is November. And you know, I had to send several mails. I had to visit almost all of the post offices that are around me and I didn't get uh, a, a deliver of the pin so um, I had to send several mail to Google so they had to do it for me manually so finally my ads are back and this means you have to go and watch all of my videos from the beginning you have to watch all of the ads because if you do not watch ads your girl don't get paid and that's not nice because I have spent a lot for my channel, you know, from buying camera, filming equipment, background settings, and all of that. So please, please, I want to get paid. I want to chop YouTube money too. And I can only do that if you guys watch the ads, if you guys share my link so I can reach a wider audience, so I can get more subscription, subscription from people from other parts of the world. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch my content, and try as much as possible not to skip the ads while watching now to the other of the day guys i think two to three videos back we started i said i was going to start a series on india because i would be living here soon so i want the world to get to see india through my eyes so i was i started a living in india series kind of so this is going to be my second video my second sit down video actually so we're going to have a third and a fourth one probably and then it will be followed by lots of vlog which i'll be taking you guys through um i'll be letting you guys see what it feels like living in india and you'll be seeing that through my eyes and my legs so um today i'm going to be talking about the things that i find very unusual that happens here majorly that happens only in india so backstory i came to india 2016 to study i'm a nursing student i'm presently in my final year um, I'm presently waiting to write my final exams and um, I live in Bangalore. Bangalore is one of the largest cities in India. It has one of the best climate conditions as well. So I'm going to be talking about some of the very unusual things that I have experienced here or that I have seen here. So the first thing is cows. Cows in Bangalore, I don't know what it is like in other states, but I've been to, um, I live in Bangalore, I've been to Goa, I've been to Pondicherry, I've been to Delhi, I've been to Mumbai, and I can say in Bangalore, it is very different. There are so many cows here. Cows here are like, they, they actually have like, they are, they are fellow residents in this state. Like, if you see a traffic, just know it is either caused by an accident or a traffic light or a cow you know unlike nigeria where i come from if a cow is disturbing you can just hit it with a stick or something to chase it away but in bangalore in india you cannot do that if a cow is passing if a cow is crossing the road you have to wait no matter how long it takes you have to wait till it is done with its business and i've seen people act so funny towards cow okay i'm going to share an experience i was coming back from school one day and i saw a cow the cow was peeing you know the pee was rushing out and i saw people coming down like rushing to come in to, to rushing to come down from their car to go and use their hands to like take the urine and they were pouring it on their head and they were chanting some prayers or whatever it is they were saying and i was like wait that is cow pee like people are actually fighting to be the first person to take the cow pee 
and they are practically pouring it from their head down and when they were done they went back inside their car and continued their journey that particular experience have been stuck to my head since like 2018 i think like i can't even i can't get past it as in, I, I i don't think there's anything worse i can experience again here like that's like the height of it like cow urine i don't understand that but i heard there are some particular group of people that they worship cows cows are like gods to them i don't want to meddle into the indian religion talk so yeah that's all i'm going to say about that cows are like gods here and if you ever visit india or bangalore most especially do not ever try to hit a cow do not kill a cow cows are sacred here now the next thing is how indians wash their clothes i'm going to th try and attach a video for you to see um you see them there's always a rock placed on the ground and then you see them rolling the clothes and you know eating it on that rock i don't know how the clothes get clean i don't understand it but these are mostly done by the average indians the middle class the lower class that cannot actually afford a washing machine or do not really believe in using your hands to wash your clothes like most of we africans do the third thing is that indians are lovers of animal it is so hard for you to enter any compound enter any household and you would not see either a dog a cat birds some people even have snakes in their house so indians are lovers of animals when you're going on the street you see several dogs you'll see cows you see so many animals so indians are lovers of animals another thing worth talking about is jewelry indians love jewelry a lot you know you see them i think i heard somewhere i'm not sure how true that is but i once heard that half of the gold in the world is in india like indians love jewelries ornaments you see them they are always having rings they have earrings they have necklaces even on their toes almost on all five toes they will arrange rings there you know they just love jewelries so much and i think jewelries is one of the jewelries are one of the things that um they used to indicate that they are married because most of them do not wear wedding rings their wedding bands are usually necklaces for the women so the men can wear rings but one of the signs of being married is wearing a very i think it's an expensive necklace or something but another unusual thing about indians is eating with their hands no matter what indians are eating they prefer using their hands i once asked somebody and the person said it kind of make them feel connected to the food which i reason with because when i am eating with my hands i actually always feel like the food is more delicious i feel the food tastes sweeter you know I, I don't know if it's like that with you people but that was what this indian friend of mine told me he said it's a kind of it gives a kind of connection between you and your plate between you and the food that you're eating so i don't know how true that is but i find it so unusual that no matter how rich how well connected how well traveled indians are they often eat with their hands they find it more comfortable eating with their hands Another thing I'm going to talk about is the bromance. Uh, what I mean by bromance is guy to guy in love. And I do not mean in a sexual way or in a romantic way. But for we Africans, like when you can't tell your fellow guy you love him, you have to follow it by saying no homo. But we Indians, it's not like that. Most time when I go out to um, have a drink or eat something at a res restaurant, 70% of the people there are always guy to guy like guy friends just coming out to eat It is rarely I rarely find a guy and a girl coming out to eat. It is mostly Guys to guys, you know, you just find them on the street hugging each other Carrying each other, you know, there's just this brotherly love that um, That the guys share which I really really like and I wish every other male every other places in the world could emulate because 
it's really nice i love the romance that indians indian male share, share now the last thing that i find so unusual but already i think i've also adapted that habit is head wobbling in india you find everybody doing this you find everybody doing this and i remember the last time i visited nigeria you know when i'm listening to people talk or when my parents are talking to me instead of me to say like yes no i'll just do this and the funny thing is head wobbling is not a definite answer like it doesn't mean a particular answer if you do this it could mean yes it could mean no it could mean maybe it could mean all right it could mean anything like it just um, depends on the situation the conversation or whatever is going on at that moment so head wobbling it, it's so cute like if you've lived in India for like one year two years three years you just find yourself doing it it's just a ha habit that you just find yourself that you've adapted it you've adopted it rather like you just find yourself doing it you just shake your head like okay okay no maybe all right you see we just wobble our heads here and uh, that's all i'm going to be talking about today um i think this is probably going to be the second video maybe we'll have a third then i'll follow it by different vlogs showing you different sides of bangalore especially where i reside restaurants um fun places to visit the malls cinemas everything i think i can show you through my lens so you can know what it feels like or what india looks like so thank you please don't forget to click on that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with your friend and don't even think of skipping that ad that ad is about to play don't think of skipping it i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye